family's northern suburbs home has been shot up for the second time in less than three weeks. Detectives are tonight trying to link a cluster of recent drive-by shootings as Lansdale residents live in fear. Hit twice in less than a month. The Lansdale family say it doesn't know why it's been the target of two drive-by shootings, but detectives say it's no coincidence. Edge, I definitely think this incident's a targeted incident where this address has been targeted. This time, at least a dozen bullets sprayed from what's believed to be a 22 calibre firearm at a Kia Sorento by a person on a motorcycle. We just heard a couple of shots, just a quick succession of, um, of noise, you know, bang, 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 and then motorbike revving off. CCTV shows a Kawasaki bike with a large rear tyre leaving the scene around 4.30 this morning. The last time it happened, three weeks ago, was almost identical. Bullets blasted at the family's Toyota Prado. The gunman was also on a motorbike. And it's not the only shooting on the books for Joondalup detectives. On Monday in Girraween, a couple was shot at their front door, both injured by the same bullet. A man hit in the jaw, his partner's hand pierced as she tried to defend him. And that same night, here at the scene of the Lansdale shooting, another car was firebombed. Exclusive mobile footage shows a homemade bomb on the back seat of the car. Burning fabric was thrown at the device, residents rushing to put it out before it was detonated. Dordie Woodway, residents, tonight shaken. I'm installing the cameras like next week. We're scared that happened in a row like uh, twice in a month. Nice quiet little neighbourhood mostly. Yeah, it was a surprise a couple of weeks ago and then to have it happen again. Jerry DeMassey, Nine News.